Morning guys and girls, Mitch of the Bushveld here. Today I wanted to have a little discussion about budget friendly survival kits. Let's get into it. So when you go to a lot of these camping stores, you will find cheap survival kits. Note I said cheap, not budget friendly, because a lot of the stuff in them is garbage, or it's not useful at all in a survival situation. I always recommend making up your own. The other problem that I see when people buy survival kits is a lot of them put them in their backpack. Great place to store it, but if you lose your backpack, you've lost all your gear and your survival gear. Whilst if you keep a small survival kit, say in a cargo pocket, even if you lose the entire contents of your backpack, you've still got something on you to get you through the night, or maybe even two nights, and get you back home safely. I've started putting together a little kit, so this will be part one. I'm going to show you some of the items that are budget friendly that will definitely get you through at least one night out in the bush. So the first thing that you need for a survival kit is a container to put your survival kit in. I found this small Dixie pot, it's got a little folding handle, stainless steel, nice and lightweight, can be used for many many things, cooking food if you have it, Boiling water for disinfection, making medicinal teas if you're sick, and you can also use it to make chalk cloth for your next fire. Okay, let's have a look at what I've put in this kit so far. It's not complete as yet. Some of these items are for short term survival, and some of them are for long term survival. The first thing that I've got in here is an energy bar, it's going to at least get you through the night give you something to munch on, give you some of those well needed calories and there's also a great morale booster. Secondly, a lot of people ask me what's the best way to light a fire in a survival situation. The answer is always the same. Good old big lighter. When you're in an emergency situation, the last thing you want to be doing is fumbling around with primitive ways of making fire when you can use a bic. Backing that up, I've got a one-handed fire steel. I did a review on this one on my last video. This would make a good backup to your lighter. And if you've got the right materials, I'd say rather use this than your lighter and reserve that fuel for later. Next thing, I've got a little survival blanket. These aren't the strongest things in the world, but they will keep you warm. You can use it to make a shelter. You can use it to sleep on or sleep under. Or simply just wrap around yourself to keep you warm. Next thing is one of these lightweight disposable ponchos. Costs next to nothing, fall down next to nothing. You can use it to keep the rain off of you, you can use it for water collection and if you open it up completely you can use it to make yourself a top to sleep under. Next couple of items that I've got in here or some Ziploc bags. These are some reasonably large ones. You can use these for collecting tinder, for making your fire. You can use it for carrying water, or you can even use it for collecting water. 101 uses for these things. Lastly in here, as you saw in my previous video, is a replacement elastic for a catapult or a slingshot. This you can use short term, by taking off one of these ends, you can use it to get to water in awkward places. Long term, you can make yourself a catapult, either for self-defense or for taking down small game for food. You can also use it as an engine, if you know how to make snares. Please note in South Africa, snaring is illegal, but in a survival situation, you wait till you're out of it before you answer to the law. So guys, that's just a brief uh, overview of what I'm looking at putting into my survival kit. It's going to be super compact so I can stick it in my pocket and forget about it until I need it. Hopefully I never will, but I have it there if I do need it. Join me on the next one when we go a little bit more in depth. We're going to be adding some extra items to this, including for shelter building and for more long-term survival uses. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook. Catch you on the next one.